There are eight species of bear alive today, and these animals can be found in different habitats around the world. Some live a mostly herbivorous lifestyle, and others prefer to take down large mammals. All bear species have the potential to be deadly, but of course some are more dangerous than others. In today's video, I will be ranking all the bear species from least deadly to deadliest, and I will be judging them on a few main factors. How large the bear is, how aggressive the bear is, how likely they are to come into contact with humans, and how many people they kill. Without further ado, we can take a look at our first species, and to find it, we will be heading over to Asia. The panda is arguably the most distinctive bear species, and for a long time its classification was debated. It shares traits and characteristics with both bears and raccoons, but molecular studies in 1985 proved that it was a true bear, but it doesn't live a typical bear lifestyle. Around 99% of their diet is made up of bamboo, and bamboo isn't the most nutritious food. Because of this, they spend most of their day feeding, and they've evolved false thumbs to help them do so. This bamboo diet allows them to reach a maximum weight of around 160 kilograms, and even though this is a very impressive size, pandas are rarely dangerous. In the wild, these animals are usually solitary and peaceful, and they usually avoid humans when they can. If they are cornered, they can become aggressive, and at least one man has been seriously injured by a panda in the wild. Despite this, there are no records of a panda ever killing a human, so I think it's fair to say that the giant panda slots in at number 8 on this list. For our next bear, we will be heading over to South America, as we will be taking a look at the spectacled bear. The spectacled bear is the only living bear species native to South America, and it's the last remaining short-faced bear. Short-faced bears were once a lot more common, and some of these mammals were the largest bears to have ever lived. The spectacled bear is also sometimes referred to as the Andean bear, and that's because it's found in the Andes mountains of northern and western South America. Spectacled bears are more herbivorous than other bear species, with only around 5-7% of their diets being made up of meat. In the wild, these bears feed on a wide variety of plant matter, but they will also target small mammals and tapirs, and they have also been known to kill and scavenge cattle. This diet allows them to reach a maximum weight of around 160 kilograms, but spectacled bears are among the most sexually dimorphic bears. Males are usually twice the size of females, and this means that the males are far more deadly. Spectacled bears are usually shy and elusive, but when threatened, they will defend themselves. Because these bears will sometimes kill and scavenge cattle, they are poached in many areas of South America, this not only has a massive negative effect on their numbers, but it also makes them more dangerous, as only one human has been killed by this bear, and this attack occurred while the bear was being hunted and it was already shot. If you leave this bear alone, it will most likely leave you alone, and that's why it slots in at number 7. For our next species, we will be heading over to Southeast Asia, as we will be taking a look at the sun bear. The sun bear is the only species in its genus, and once again, it's a very distinctive species. It's typically found in tropical forests, and it's the most arboreal of all the bears. It has very loose skin and a stocky body, and it spends the majority of its day feeding on insects and fruits. The sun bear is not only one of the strangest looking bears as it is also the smallest, as they max out at around 70 kilograms. This smaller size allows them to be great climbers, but it also means that they can be taken down by predators. They are sometimes targeted by tigers and pythons, but these bears know how to fight if they need to. Once again, these animals are usually shy and reclusive, but if provoked, they can turn into killers. There has been at least one reported case where a sun bear has killed a tiger, and these bears have been involved in a few fatal attacks on humans in India. So even though these bears are relatively small, they can still pack a punch, and they slot in at number 6 on this list. For our next bear species, we can stay in Asia, as we will be taking a look at the Asian black bear. Just like the sun bear, these bears are adapted to a mostly arboreal lifestyle, and they are found over a large part of East and Southeast Asia. As it is found over such a large area, it has quite a few subspecies, and these subspecies can differ in size, shape, and behavior. These bears usually have a similar build to brown bears, but of course they are lighter and smaller. 
Once again, they max out at around 160 kilograms, and they get to this size by feeding on a wide range of foods. They mostly feed on insects and plant matter, but they will also feed on garbage and carrion, and larger specimens will target undulates. The majority of Asian black bears are cautious animals, but they are also known for being unpredictable. They are known for being more aggressive towards humans than the brown bears of Eurasia and the American black bears of North America. It's believed that they are so aggressive because they have to deal with many dangerous predators, and their range also overlaps with other bear species. These animals are more than capable of killing humans, and the Asian black bears of Japan are some of the most aggressive. Nine people were killed by these bears in Japan between 1979 and 1989, and there's been a rise in attacks in recent years. That's why these bears slot in at number 5, as some individuals can be extremely aggressive. The next bear we will be taking a look at is another black bear, but to find it we will be heading to North America. The American black bear is endemic to North America, and it's the continent's smallest and most widely distributed bear species. As they are found over so much of the continent, the American black bear has quite a few subspecies, and these bears can be found in a wide range of colours. This is why they're often misidentified as brown bears, or in some cases, polar bears. Like most bears, the American black bear lives an omnivorous lifestyle, and they like to feed on the foods that we leave behind. Even though the American black bear is the smallest bear in North America, they are still very large, as they can max out at around 250 kilograms. A bear of this size is not to be messed with, but attacks on humans are still relatively rare. Black bears kill less than one person per year on average in North America, and this is despite the fact that there are around 750,000 black bears in North America. This means that young men are 167 times more likely to kill someone than a black bear, and most black bear attacks are defensive reactions to a person who is too close. Despite this, there was a fatal attack in June of last year, and this attack was a predatory attack. So even though these bears have a massive population, they rarely attack humans. But if they choose to kill a human, they are more than capable. For our next species, we will be heading back over to Asia, as we will be taking a look at the sloth bear. The sloth bear is once again quite a distinctive bear, and it's a bear that's often underestimated. The majority of its diet is made up of fruits, ants and termites, and this is part of the reason why they have such strange lips. Sloth bears lack upper incisors, and their lips also allow them to suck up large numbers of insects. This protein-rich diet helps them to reach a maximum weight of around 190 kilograms, and at this size, very few animals will mess with them. As these bears are found on the Indian subcontinent, they have to deal with many dangerous animals. They are sometimes preyed upon by tigers, and they also have to be on the lookout for leopards, crocodiles, rhinos, and elephants. This is believed to be the reason behind their behaviour, as they are one of the most aggressive bears in the world. These bears are more likely to attack humans than most other bears, and when they do, they usually go for the face. In one state in central India between 1989 and 1994, 48 people were killed by these bears, and 686 people were injured. There was one famous sloth bear that was responsible for killing 12 people, but eventually it was killed by a famous Indian writer and hunter. So really, it's best to give these bears a wide berth, and they're fit for number 3 on this list. For our next species, we will be heading to the Arctic, as we will be taking a look at the polar bear. The polar bear is the largest extant species of bear, and it's the largest land carnivore. They can reach a maximum weight of around 900 kilograms, and they get to this size by feeding on other animals. The polar bear is a hypercarnivore, and it is the most carnivorous species of bear. They'll feed on pretty much anything they come across, and in some cases, this is even their own kind. Polar bears are one of the few animals that see humans directly as a food source, and this means that if you come across a polar bear, it will likely try to kill you and eat you. Thankfully, polar bears rarely come into contact with humans, but when they do, the outcome isn't pretty. There was a fatal attack in Alaska last year, and there have been quite a few attacks over the years in Svalbard. If you meet this bear in the wild, you have little chance of survival, and the only reason it isn't number one on this list is because it rarely comes into contact with humans. 
For our final bear on this list, we can travel to quite a few areas across the northern hemisphere, as we will be taking a look at the brown bear. The brown bear is another species that has quite a few subspecies, and some of these subspecies are relatively peaceful animals. The larger, more aggressive subspecies are responsible for the majority of attacks, and as they are found over such a large area, they come into contact with humans frequently. In North America, there are around 2 to 3 fatal attacks each year, and even though fatal attacks are less common in Europe, there have been a few recent fatal attacks that have hit the news. In Japan, brown bear attacks seem to be on the rise, and of course one of the worst brown bear attacks in human history occurred in Japan. This just goes to show how deadly these animals can be, but it's important that we don't villainize them. These animals are simply just trying to survive, and even though the brown bear is one of the deadliest bears in the world, attacks on humans are still relatively rare. Despite this, the brown bear slots in at number one on this list, as it is the deadliest bear in the world. If you think I should have arranged these bears any differently, then let me know down in the comments below. But thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.